Hi everybody. This video will look at the anatomy of the male and female reproductive systems. Listen carefully because there will be some activities on this. We are going to look at the female reproductive system first because, well, ladies first. <laughs> The human female reproductive system is made up of oviducts, ovaries, the uterus, the cervix and the vagina. Each ovary is connected to the uterus by an oviduct. This is sometimes called a fallopian tube or egg tube. The oviduct is lined with cilia, which are tiny hairs on cells. Every month an egg develops, becomes mature and is released from an ovary. The cilia move the egg along inside the oviduct and into the uterus. The two ovaries, one of them is called an ovary, contain hundreds of undeveloped female gametes, sex cells. These are called ova. One of them is called an ovum, from the Latin, or egg cells. Women have these cells in their bodies from birth, whereas men produce new sperm continually. The uterus and cervix. The uterus, also called the womb, is a muscular bag with a soft lining. The uterus is where a baby develops until its birth. The cervix is a ring of muscle at the lower end of the uterus. It keeps the baby in place while the lady is pregnant. Your bladder is the part of the body where urine is stored until it leaves your body. The urethra is the tube that carries urine. And the vagina is a muscular tube that leads from the cervix to the outside of a woman's body. A man's penis goes into the woman's vagina during sexual intercourse. The male reproductive system is made up from glands, sperm ducts, the urethra, the penis and the testes. Your bladder is the part of your body where urine is stored until it leaves your body. The bladder empties into the urethra, but is not considered to be part of the reproductive system. Glands and sperm ducts. The sperm pass through the sperm ducts and mix with fluids produced by the glands. The fluids provide the sperm cells with nutrients the mixture of sperm and fluids is called semen. The penis and the urethra. The penis has two functions. Firstly, to pass urine out of the man's body. Secondly, to pass semen out of the man's body. The urethra is the tube inside the penis that can carry urine or semen. A ring of muscle makes sure that there is no chance of urine and semen getting mixed up. The two testes, one of them is called a testis, are contained in a bag of skin called the scrotum. The testes have two functions. Firstly, to produce millions of male gametes, sex cells called sperm, and secondly, to make male sex hormones, which affect the way a man's body develops. The foreskin is the skin that covers the end of a man's penis. And the scrotum is the bag of skin that contains a man's testicles. <laughs> 